in an oil seep that's been going on for more than 15 years at an oil field in McKittrick. Roughly 2 million barrels of oil and water have flowed to the surface from this seep or surface expression. Tonight we're hearing from Chevron and from environmentalists. Joining us now with both sides and details about this seepage, our own Lutan Wallace. Lutan. Chevron confirms oil has been flowing from below the earth to the surface at the Simric oil field in McKittrick, just a thousand feet from the location where oil seeped in May. Now, environmentalists are concerned, but a representative with Chevron tells me there is no threat to the environment and the seep is contained. KGET was with Governor Gavin Newsom last month in McKittrick as he surveyed a Chevron oil field seepage dating back to May 10th. Now, Chevron tells 17 News oil is actively seeping from the ground to the surface in another seep roughly 1,500 feet away from the seep that Governor surveyed last month. What's more, Chevron says this latest seepage has been going on since 2003. A seep is where oil comes out of the ground, sometimes caused by drilling, other times naturally. Specifically, this seep, a surface expression as it's called, is taking place in an area Chevron has named Gauge Setting 5. Since 2003, the seep has released 84 million gallons of oil and water. That is significantly more than the seep from May 10th, which resulted in the leak of 31,903 barrels or 400,000 gallons of fluid, of which 70% is water. Now, 17 News has learned the California Department of Oil, Gas, and Geothermal Resources served Chevron with a notice of violation last Friday, saying in a statement the department is taking swift next steps to evaluate and investigate the oil field as a whole. Chevron released a statement maintaining the seep, quote, has not impacted groundwater, wildlife, or agriculture, and added that the seep, quote, is contained. But environmentalist Tom France, who took drone video of the site, says he's not convinced. There's not necessarily good groundwater right where the leak is, but anything soaking into the subsurface, it, it travels by gravity down that stream bed in that path. And at the end of that path, we have farmland. And under that farmland, there is groundwater that those farmers are using. So there's the potential of a lot of contamination over a long period of time. However, Chad Hathaway of the independent oil company Hathaway LLC says it is important to remember thousands of seeps are taking place across the state as we speak, many of them naturally. I just don't think any, any threat to the environment exists due to this particular instance right now. And there are thousands of seeps throughout the, 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 the state of California, all, onshore and offshore. If you go to the beach, a lot of times, in, and especially around Santa Barbara in the channel there, you walk off the beach and you have oil on your feet because the oil is seeping naturally from the ocean bed every single day, every single second of the day. So if people think that seeps are a new and you know uh, interesting phenomenon, they're, they're not. They've been going on for thousands and thousands of years. Chevron did not comment specifically on plans to fix or clean up the seep, but a representative said Chevron has a, quote, dedicated team in place conducting a thorough review to determine next steps. In Studio 8, Tom Wallace, 17 News.